Things up. There he goes into the end zone. Would make it a 14 to nothing Mart lead. Beavers go looking for something. Brady Lissy. He is back. Has time. Fires, but it's picked off. That's the Travion Medlock. Yeah, and that would set up this. Panthers go back to work, and Martin hits his brother. Demarion Medlock. That's a touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. Makes it 22 to nothing. Mart at the break. And they would knock Fall City out of the, the playoff tournament. 28 to, tw uh, 28 to 8 is your final. How about those Wimberley Texans? Always a force last night taking on Silsby. They were playing out in Katy. And, well, the Texans were completely having their way in that first half anyway. First quarter action. McCollum, a 38 yards. Cooper McCollum, 38 yards to Cole Schroeder. Schroeder's doing all the work, for goodness sake. But he scores a touchdown, 7-0. Texans go to the second quarter. How about Moses Ray? He's going to get the handoff and break it. And look at the big fella go. Oh, my goodness. Nobody wants to get in his way. 14-3. Texans on top. And then McCollum again. He's going to go back to the air. This time he's going to hit Jackson Watts. Yeah, nicely done. Out in the flat. Cuts it back to the inside and says, oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's a touchdown. 21-3. Texans. And this was a dandy, a high-scoring affair. It would be Wimberley getting it done. They go on to win it by a score 56 to 43. So some great action, although a couple of our teams knocked out of the playoff chase. Wimberley still alive and Bernie champion. They get an opportunity to move on to a state title game today, 3 o'clock up in Kyle Field. Go Chargers. Man, it really didn't feel mm -hmm. like football weather yesterday. No. You know, it felt it, temperatures were in the 80s. We had very warm conditions. And today, it's going to be much of the same, Holly. So. Well, I like the warmer weather, but the last couple days, I've been sniffling and sneezing. Not pleasant. Always have the tissues. So yeah. what's it going to look like for the weekend? Well, we have actually had a spike in mountain cedar. Great. So <laughs> check this out. Heavy today on the mountain cedar. 1,160. Molds are still light, so we're not seeing too much of an issue there. But if you're sneezing today, it's that mountain cedar. It's going to be really getting to you, I think, not just for today, but even just kind of lingering in the air likely for tomorrow as well. So be on the lookout for that. It is going to be a bit of an allergy sufferer's uh, bad day. It's, you're going to need the allergy medicine and then also the tissue paper nearby. Now, as we head throughout today, if you can get away from all those allergens, it's going to be a great day to be outside. We're talking temperatures in the 80s. We're starting off at 46 degrees. Winds out of the west northwest at about seven miles per hour. Now, it may be uh, pretty cool this morning, but remember it will be warm this afternoon. It's not as cold as other places, though. Check out Amarillo up in the Panhandle. 33 degrees. It is 38 degrees at Dallas Fort Worth and then 35 for our friends up in Waco. By the time we get to about 3 p.m., that's when our temperatures will be at about 80 degrees. Check it out. 76 by 1 p.m. By 11 a.m., we're even in the 60s, so these temperatures are going to rise quickly. We do have some drier air. Whenever we talk drier air, it allows our temperatures to fluctuate a little bit more. That's why we've got the 40s this morning, but 80s this afternoon. Seeing a lot of clear sky over Texas, that's another signal showing us that we have some drier air in place. Seeing a little bit of cloud cover, though, for our friends along the Red River, stretching over into parts of Oklahoma and Arkansas. Now, it's not messy here in Texas, but check out over on the East Coast. A lot of rainfall, even some wintry precipitation up towards the Great Lakes. Thankfully, all this messy weather going to stay off to our east, but if you're flying, you may run into a little bit of issues if you're headed on up towards the Northeast. Future clouds and radar shows as we head throughout this weekend right here at home. 80s once again this afternoon. Check it out down towards George West, 87 degrees, 88 in Catula by the time we get to about 4 p.m. this afternoon. Pretty hot conditions for mid-December.